Hi there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the Monteverde Regatta Sport Rose Gold Limited Edition. I did feature this pen in the Power Pens video that I shot a few days ago and I gotta say, I love this pen. It's just a little bit ridiculous though. I think that's maybe why I love it. It just doesn't look like pretty much any other pen that I've ever seen. The rose gold is very much this copper kind of look to it. So it's, it looks like a, well, kind of like a shiny penny, I guess you could say, which really doesn't make it sound super classy because a penny is pretty cheap, but this pen is, I think it's pretty classy. It's a little bit gaudy, okay? It's a little bit over the top, I'm not gonna lie, but I kind of like that about it. It's the kind of pen that if you take it into a meeting, you don't probably want to whip it out and start using it unless you want the subject of that meeting to then be about your pen, because it really kind of grabs Grab some attention. I kind of like it for that reason though, but that's okay. Um, it's got black trim and it has two bands of woven carbon fiber with a gloss finish over it that really gives it kind of a unique look to it, kind of a racing classy kind of feel. Um, and then the coolest thing about this is it has a magnetic cap. So when you uncap it and cap it, it has this very distinctive kind of chink sound to it uh, that works on both the front and the back. It is a little back heavy when it's posted. Uh, this pen is very heavy, it's 50 grams. That's about as heavy as it gets for a fountain pen. So it may be not the most practical thing if you're gonna be writing long novels or anything like that. This maybe won't be the most comfortable one for you, but it's okay if you're writing quick notes and things like that, you just wanna cap and uncap it. You know, you're gonna end up doing that a lot because it's just so much fun. When you're holding the pen, the step is a little bit harsh because of that magnetic cap. They gotta fit a magnet in the cap and everything, so there's a lot to build into that cap. So it's a little harsh of a step going from the grip up to the body of the pen. So that can be a little bit awkward if you like to hold your pens a little bit further back. For me, it's not really so much a problem because the way I hold my pens, I have my forefinger and my middle finger on the grip and then I have my thumb up on the body of the pen. So it kind of works for me, but I could see how it might be weird for some. Now this is a limited edition color, so there's 999 of them that uh, are going to be made, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna sell out right away. 999 is kind of a lot of pens, and this pen is really kind of unique, and so I would be surprised if they disappeared too soon, but I know that they're not going to be around forever because it is going to be limited. It's hard to say exactly how long they'll last. But there are three regular regatta sport colors that you can get, a black, a red, and a yellow. I have a full length video on that pen specifically, so you can check that one out if you wanna see a full review. Another cool thing about this pen that is kind of unique, it has a black nib. So you don't have a lot of fountain pens out there that have black nibs, kind of adds, it's got this kind of weird balance, I guess, of like flashiness and stealthiness at the same time that is kind of this juxtaposition. Uh, the black nib though, it comes in fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub Monteverde nib. The Monteverde nibs tend to be a little bit dry, so they will wet up a little bit over time as you use them. The tines on these nibs are a little bit tight, so as you write with them, and you can write with them with a little bit of pressure if you wanna to try to spread those tines out a little bit to get it to flow a little more generously. And then the smoothness tends to be kind of a medium smoothness, not super smooth, not super, you know, not scratchy or anything like that, but it tends to be pretty middle of the road as far as um, the, the toothiness of the nib, if you wanna call it that. The Regatta Sport accepts a standard international cartridge and converter. It comes with a threaded Monteverde converter, which is pretty nice. And you can use standard international short or long cartridges with it. Two short cartridges are included with the pen, one black and one blue. So that is the Monteverde Regatta Sport Rose Gold Limited Edition. If you would like more details about it, you can check it out on GouletPens.com. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments on YouTube or on the blog. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.